president of Eagle Island Estates Property Owners Association. Also, I'm a chapter representative of the Florida Native Plants Society, the uh, <coughs> Nature Coast chapter. <coughs> um, if you look at the map that uh, Swift Mud provided for us of Cypress Creek, you can see that um, Eagle Island Estates is just on the south end of that map there. Uh, the west, southwest corner, right next to Pineview Middle School, and also near where the proposed, one of the proposed access points is. I'm against the a staff proposal for Cypress Creek um, for the following reasons. First, Pineview Middle School abuts the property, the proposed property there. And of course, no one wants to see arrows flying over onto the school, school property the children are. The second reason is that uh, the proposed area also abuts the backyards of some uh, 21 of the 151 property owners uh, in Eagle Island Estates, uh, specifically on Swallow Drive, Reese Circle, Merlin Court, Nini Circle, and Hornbill Circle. Uh, when I was president of the Homeowners Association in 2008, a hunter dropped a deer about 30 feet from uh, the fence of, behind uh, one of the homeowners' houses on uh, Hornbill Circle. The position of the hunter and the position of the deer where he, he fell was um, witnessed by one of the neighbors there and also by two of the um, daughters of the, the homeowner. One of them was nine and one of them was 13. And they, they had been watching the deer for some time. Um, at the time I contacted the state officer who was enforcing uh, the laws out there at Cypress Creek, Ron Lamb, and I asked him what exactly were Swift Mud's properties, uh, rules and regulations on hunting near a border um, and in the direction of Swift Mud's property. Uh, apparently, there are no regulations in this regard. Um, a hunter apparently can walk right up to the boundary and shoot a deer and, uh, uh, in the direction of the boundary, so long as the deer is on Swift Mud property. That was what I was told. No one wants to be on the receiving end of either bullets or arrows on their own property. Mr. Wartress, could you wind it up, please? Okay. Uh, the only other thing uh, that I have to say is that uh, my experience is that the no hunting signs go up early and they come down late, and that probably that 12 days that's being proposed will, will uh, uh, result in about 30 days of uh, non-use by recreational users. Thank you. Thank you.